Hello my dear friends, my name is Sonne and welcome back to another beauty video. Today I have another tutorial for you. Uh, I'm just quickly gonna get started on this because it's, it's not gonna be a difficult tutorial. It's not gonna take very long, it's not like a delicate, intricate, detailed uh, eyeshadow look. It's gonna be a look that's based on blush. So we're gonna do blush draping around the sides going over into the eyes and we're gonna make it a tiny bit colorful with some different shades and we're just gonna have fun with it so let's quickly get started on a blush draping tutorial so i'm first gonna work on my base of course so i'm gonna start with a primer i'm gonna be using the essence fix and last jelly primer and i'm just gonna put that on my face make sure we have a good base going on so I'm first gonna go in with some foundation. This is the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup. And look, I don't know if you can see, there's like a tiny amount left in there. So I really want to finish this one at some point. So I'm applying a lot of foundation. And the reason for that is because I have a lot of redness in my skin. Today it's not that bad actually, but usually over here, and you can tell over here below and here, there is quite a lot of redness in there. and if I am just going in with my regular base and I'm putting a lot of blush on top, it's not gonna look intentional because I place my blush here and then here you're gonna have like red spots as well. So the blush is just gonna look a tiny bit messy. So that's why I want like a really clean, even canvas and that's why I'm wearing foundation. So I'm applying that foundation with a wet sponge and just blending that into my skin. So I am applying concealer and I'm applying it on some highlighting spots as well to lighten it a tiny bit because that foundation is just a tiny bit too dark and just to cover up my bags and I like to do it around my mouth because then I can cover up the, the weird uneven uh, lines of my lips and then I just have like a nice clean canvas to add the lip liner on to make my lips look like actually I don't know lined off properly the redness kind of stops here but the lip stops here I don't know I just like to cover up the edges of my lips to make it uh, to make my lipstick and lip liner look cleaner later on so this video is really focused on base makeup obviously because you're gonna use a lot of blush and we're not really gonna do that much eyeshadow while that, like that is so different from what I usually do. Um, I do wear a lot of blush because I like blush, but usually my focus is on the eyes, as you know, because I just love eyeshadow. It's my favorite, favorite makeup product. But yeah, we're gonna focus on the base today. Oh, and then for concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Setting Finish. Um, it's just my curd favorite concealer and as you can tell we have uh, lightened up the highlighting points of my face quite a bit and we are going to set this with some powder because we're going to use uh, powder blushes so i'm just going to go in with my essence all about matte fixing loose powder um, and just slightly because this one is really really thick you can easily put on too much of this one and then you get like really dry looking crusty face so it's not my favorite but i have it and i don't like to get rid of products just because they're not exactly what i want so i'm just gonna use this one until i'm out of it i'm like at least halfway through the jar so that's pretty good and i think next i'm gonna get the elf halo glow powder because i want like a bit of a glowy powder instead of just a mattifying powder because I only have mattifying powders so I'm gonna go in with my absolutely beaten up essence brow powder set and just filling in my brows a tiny bit you give some shape to them give some color to them make them just a bit more even I'm just gonna set them in place with my crusty essence brow like a boss ink brow gel i do like the brow gel but this packaging is making me so angry everything leaks out the side every single time i close it it wasn't just in the beginning it's literally every single time i close it but yeah we're just running it through the hairs 
making sure they're still in place and they get a tiny bit of extra color so they just look a tiny bit more fluffy okay so now it's time to cover up the eyes a tiny bit with some primer just so we can get into the blush i'm trying out a few different new primers ones that i had laying out because my the one that i used every single day was the makeup academy eyeshadow primer i really like that one also because it had a nude color to it a neutral color so it would also cover up the redness in my eyes a tiny bit and i really like that but I've been using a few different primers now because I ran out of that one and I do want to just rebuy it but I also have so many primers laying around it doesn't feel necessary to buy any one so I'm just trying what I have but I tried one like yesterday or two days ago the Douglas one and as soon as I started putting the eyeshadow on it and I was like rubbing that my eyeshadow started pilling on my eye it was just rubbing off in like little balls it was absolutely terrible. Okay, so we have our base ready. We have our eyes primed. So we're ready to add the blush. And I'm going in with a few blushes and probably a tiny bit of matte eyeshadow. So I'm going to grab first of all the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Matte in No Vacancy. And then the Moira Cosmetics Signature Ombre Blusher in Morning Sunshine. And then also the Koki Soft Gradient Blush in Tender. And I'm probably going to use some shades from the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette as well. To use those, um, these blushes, they're really pigmented. So we want a really fluffy brush to keep them a bit more light and a bit more workable. Because if you go in with a denser brush, like this is my usual um, blush brush. I really like this one. It's the, it's a nice shape. But this one is pretty dense. So if I use this brush for the Moira and Koki blushes, I'm gonna have like a bright red dot on my eyes already, and it's really hard to work with. So we want a brush that is a lot fluffier. So I'm gonna go into some of these. I have a powder brush, just a basic powder brush, but this one is just so much more fluffy and less dense. So this one will work very well. And then I also have a contour brush, but this one is just also very, very fluffy and not dense at all. So we're gonna use those two. And I'm just gonna start with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. Dip my brush in that. This one is a bit less pigmented. So I'm gonna apply that right in the corner of my eye. That's where we're gonna start draping. And I'm also gonna blend the eyeshadow into that. So that's gonna look really nice, I think. So I'm just applying it over there and going a bit in circles outwards to create a bit of a blend. And that's how we create the start of our draping. I really keep it to that outer corner of the lid, like right on that brow bone as well. So now we have a bit of a start, but I think I'm gonna go in with the different shades now. I'm gonna grab the Moira blush and I'm going into this bottom part with the really bright pink. Like there's a lot on here already and we're gonna place that like right next to this and do the same circular motions going outward and we're gonna make sure you have like a bright pink thing going on over here in that outer corner going over the brow you can also do your brows afterwards just to make sure the blush doesn't cover up your brows then i'm gonna grab the cokey one and i'm going into this top part so we have a bit of a reddish tone and we're gonna place that like right next to it. And we're moving that a tiny bit more up and down. As you can see there's a lot of color on that one, so be careful. And then we just go up and down a tiny bit. Okay, so we're just working on blending out that reddish shade. But as you can see, we already have like a nice tiny bit of a gradient going on. So when you think the blending is enough, We'll go into the next shade and I'm going into the bottom shade of the same one. I'm going to make sure I have some nice orange going on. And I'm going to blend that right over here. As you can see, that's turning fun and, and orangey yellow, you know. It's really cute. I'm just going to dot that down. If you want, you can go up here as well. So we can go both ways. I don't want to go up too much, so I think I'm going to leave it with this slight blend that we have now. 
So we're just putting that orangey yellow high up on the cheekbone and we're moving a bit more towards the inner portion of the face. And make sure you keep blending. I always try to somewhat blend it into my hairline, but for some reason I find it to be very difficult and I can never get it to look nice around the hairline. Okay, so now we have a bit of a blend going on over there. I'm just gonna go back in with that pink shade from Moira, just a tiny bit to deepen up that color because that red next to it is so much deeper so it feels a bit like not enough. And then we are gonna use this Moira shade again and now I'm gonna go into this top part, really the lightest blush we have. I'm gonna apply that over here to blend into that orangey yellow that we just used from the Koki blush and bring that yellow right onto the apples of your cheeks. So now I feel like we have a pretty cool gradient going on. I like to go a bit over here so we don't have any harsh lines. I do want to do a tiny bit on the nose because I always do on the nose and I feel like it's a bit left out now. So I'm going in with that yellow shade just to add a tiny bit of color to it. I feel like that. That is great. Okay, so now we have the blush going on. I just want to go in with some eyeshadows as well to make my um, eyes match my face a tiny bit. So I'm going into a really fluffy blending brush. I'm going into a bit of a pink shade. That's a bit deeper. Take that into the outer corner. You can also just go in with the blush that you applied here and take that. And I kind of want to go for a similar gradient on the eyes, so I'm applying a deeper pink and going into a tiny bit of a more red shade and applying that in that outer corner over here. The first shade that I used is called Dragon Fruit from the Beauty Bay palette and now I'm going into head over heels. I'm just keeping it very loose and you know easy to apply. Also going underneath the eye a bit. I just want everything to match. You can also definitely just go in with the shades that you used here. Just go in with the blush. Blend it out into the crease. Going into that orangey shade. This is why I like to grab such a fluffy brush because you can just freely go a bit wild and it will still look good if you don't use too much pigment. And I just want to do my eyes a bit because I just want to balance it out. Like as you can see right now, because my eyes are matching the blush, it just feels a tiny bit more balanced and not like we're just wearing extreme blush. So we're just going into the lightest shade that we used, blend that into that inner corner. And if you want, you can go in with a bit of a yellow matte. This is from the Beauty Bay palette. Put that in the inner corner. And now we have some fun blends going on. And then I do want to add some shimmers to my eyes, of course. So I'm going into my Chaos Dirt shadows. And I'm first, I think, gonna go just a tiny bit into Baby. This bright pink. Just applying that to the lid. We're not going for anything too spectacular. I just like to add a tiny bit of color. Then we're going into the shade Tawdry, which is an orange. Applying that to the inner corner of the lid. And then I want to go into a bit of a yellow shimmer. So I'm grabbing the Root Cosmetics City of Dreamy Lights palette. And I'm going into the shade Gold Coin. Which is just the brightest yellow shimmer I own. And just applying that to the inner corner. Going onto the lid a tiny bit. And then going over that with the shade Blatant by Chaos Dirt. Which is also a sparkly yellow. Just want all the sparkles. All of them. So that's it for the eyeshadow portion. Now we just gotta find a cute matching highlighter. I think I'm first gonna try this one, which is by Flower Nose. It's the Angel Highlighter in the shade Love and Death. And it's like cool pink-ish. So I think, I'm, oh yeah, that is fun. So I'm just slightly applying that, just teensiest bit. I don't know if you can tell how pink that is. I think you can tell like this, that's fun. And sometimes not having a sparkly highlighter is actually pretty nice. 
I don't wear this one that often because it's not that sparkly and I love sparkles, but I feel like with this look, this soft, just a tiny bit of a color change, it matches really well. Okay, time for lips. I think I want to do something neutral that's a bit more orangey toned. So I think I'm going to try a mix of these things. I'm first going to go in with my favorite lip liner, the Catrice Plumping Lip Liner in the shade 010. Understated chic. And we're just going to blend those edges into the lips a tiny bit. So now we have a good base to work with. And then I'm going to go into this Corly shade by Essence, which is the Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss Extreme Plumping in 107 Coral Glow. That is extremely corally. And just slowly blending that into that liner that we just applied. I feel like that looks fun and it fits the vibe of the look. So then I'm gonna go in with some eye pencils to match my waterline to the makeup look. Let's see, so first gonna go in with pink. This is the Maximore Colored Eyeliner in the shade Sweet Love. Just gonna put that in the outer corner. Then I'm gonna do the tiniest bit of this one because this one is very bright. Um, this is by Miki, I don't know what the shade name is, but it's a really old one. I Pretty sure you can't get it anymore, but it's like an orangey reddish tone. I'm gonna put that in the center, just the tiniest bit. And then I'm going into a yellow one. This is also by Maximore, a colored eyeliner in the shade Bright Sunlight. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Okay, so that is matching the look as well. So I feel like we just have one more thing to do and that is mascara. So I'm just gonna use my regular mascara, which is the Essence Another Volume Mascara, just better. And I feel like a look like this doesn't need falsies because when I'm looking in the mirror, it's looking like so glowy and sun, like summer vibes. And I feel like that, I don't know, it just feels for, like it's bright and colorful, but it also feels really natural for some reason. So I don't feel like it needs Lashes, I already feel like the mascara may be a bit too much, so I'm not gonna add lashes to this either. Okay, so here's the finished look. We have so much blush going on, but I feel like with the gradient, it looks so fun. You can do this with any color, basically. I just really wanted to use my Koki and Moira blushes because I really like them. Great addition to my collection. Look how fun. I feel like it looks so colorful and bright and fun, but... It also feels just really soft and summery. For some reason, it makes me feel both. So that is why I really enjoy the soft neutral E lip and the soft highlighter and just mascara and no lashes. I really enjoy this look. I hope you do too. I hope you learned a little thing or two about blush draping from the eyes going all over. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them in the comments. I'll be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my blog, my socials, my gaming channel, and everything else you need to know about me is all linked down below, so you can check that out as well. That's going to be it for me today. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toodles!